yuck. And it's stinky. beautiful fall day. It's October 17th and the dogs and I are just out here for a little hike trying to look for a location to build my shelter. Now if you watch my last episode that I just posted on Friday, um, somebody wrecked the lean to shelter that I had down by the water. Now it could have been wrecked or it could have been blown down by the wind. I'm not sure. We had some high winds uh, this summer so yeah, check out that video. I'll, I'll put a link to this video of the last uh, video I made and you'll see the Lean to Shelter. So yeah, stay tuned. I think you'll like this little adventure. We're just going to cook up a simple breakfast, simple egg sandwich, and kind of look to see if there's resources to make a shelter here. my hammock. You've probably seen this a few times. It's my sports near hammock. Sets up real easy. So let's set that up. I always bring an extra long strap in my hammock bag in case the trees are farther than the straps that I that do come with the hammock. So they're not too bad. I'm gonna hang it from this tree over to that one. So let's see how that works. These are the straps that come with the hammock.
Gorgeous day. Beautiful. It's a high of 10 right now. It's supposed to go to 15. Beautiful. You want to come up? Right. Oh, the dogs love the hammock. clean the area out here to put my blanket down, do some cooking. It's like a good spot to put my little stove that I brought. I'll show you, uh, it's one of my stoves that I made. So, it's a good area there. be good rocks for when I do do my shelter we can use these rocks for the, the rock pit so I'll just keep these aside first before I go collect some firewood I'll set up my my little stove that I brought. Come here, Tree Come on, Tree Tree. I'm glad I put those red sweaters on them so I can see them better. Come on, Tree Tree. She comes when I call her for Tree Tree, so I better have something here for her. Come on. They'll be dirty dogs tonight. I'll have to give them a bath. Okay, let's see what we got today. Okay, this is my little stove that I made. Okay, Belle, you're gonna have to move. You're gonna be right in the spot. Okay, it's pretty simple. I like it when I only come on a day trip so I don't get, especially in the fall, you have leaves all over the place. You don't want them to catch fire. So I just clear an area and I bring my little stoves that I make so they're up off the ground and they're not getting any of the roots or the leaves on fire. You have to be safe when you're out in the woods. So I'll show you my little, my little uh, stove that I made. Now this inspired me from a YouTuber. The channel is called Unroof, U-N-R-O-O-F. And I believe he's um, a Chinese guy that has all these different stoves. So I got inspired from the stoves and the fire pits that he has. And I'm, I know you can buy them on Amazon. Um, they can be a little expensive. So I made my own design and version of that. Come on over, Charlie. So I'll show you how it sets up. So I know a lot of people are going to ask how I made this and what I made it with. So it's... A little difficult to explain, but I will. Um, I go to the Salvation Army's uh, Value Village. I have a vision of what I want to build. And then I go looking for the things that I need for it. So I, need an, I knew I needed metal, steel, things like that, that would be durable to have a fire on. These two things are actually, they were together. 
and they were both flat and they were actually for your computer to sit your computer on so when your computer gets hot it has ventilation for your computer so I took them apart there was attachments that weren't fire safe on there so I took them all off and this is the bottom base of my fire of my what will I call it my fire pit this is the bottom base so yeah these are just little pieces of wood that I cut that I put down on the bottom to be able to hold the little feet of the fire pit so I put those down first Get it on some even ground. Rocks there. There. So yes, these hold the legs in place. Then this little part was flat, but I bent it to go into a curve so my wood can sit on here. And then I just have little metal clips that I made that just clip on to the top bars of the legs. Add these little skewers that you put vegetables on and meat and barbecue or on the on a fire. So I just wanted it more secure. So I bend those into place and put them on the top bar of the legs. And then it's really secure. This bar also gives me a top rack to sit a rack. And there you have it. All made. This was all made probably $3 to make all this. When you can buy this version on Amazon, um, I think I've seen them for $89.99. So there we go. So let's cook an egg sandwich. Like I said, I've been here before, so I stacked some wood up just against a, a tree so it would dry. So this will be plenty enough to boil up some water, cook up my egg sandwich. bring my saw if I need to cut up any wood but I always find that I find dry enough wood that I can just lean it up against something and just break it and it breaks easy so usually breaks up fairly easy that I never have to use my saw And again, the dogs are stealing my sticks like usual. You got my stick? Do you want a stick? No. Go get it. Go get it. Whew. Building up. Not a sweat, just getting warm. Be warm when I start the fire, so I don't need this on. smaller twigs. You notice I always separate my piles. I have my little pencil size, then they move up to thumb size. And then if I'm staying longer, I got like wrist size. But uh, we're not staying too long. We're just out to look for a little place to build a shelter so I only need about thumb size and then we'll cook up my egg sandwich perfect ah, what are you doing in there are you getting my food you can wait we're all gonna have something little devil all right let's get the fire started so I was out last time and I picked up some birch bark I always get extra when I'm out and I see the birch bark one of my favorite ways to light a fire take off the grill and put a few pieces on the bottom a couple of 
thicker sticks first. Birch bark. Save that piece for another time. Like usual, I like to scrape a little bit, work up some of the birch bark so you can strike it with your with your ferro rod. Good. There we go. Make that up nice. Come here, Val. My little my little sticks on. Let that get started good. Now I can feed the sticks from top or from the side if I have the, the grill on. cast iron frying pan today. My favorite. It's just a small one, not very heavy, but cooks up eggs. Amazing. I'll put this grill on. Treat, treat, Belle. Treat, treat. Treat, treat. Every time. A little oil in the pan. That heat it up. water on for coffee. Salt and pepper. Woohoo! Comes out fast. Good job I like my pepper. My 
bread ready to put on and toast up. Some more oil here so I can put my bread in. Didn't bring butter today, so I thought I would just toast it right in the pan. in there. Water is almost boiled up. Sticks on. Well, I was going to have a coffee made from my filter and my coffee that I bring with me, but I get these from David's Tea. And this one's called a Coffee Pure. Let's try this one out. All right. Comes in a little tea bag, just like the David's Tea that I always get. Smells like coffee, but with a little chocolate scent to it. Should be good. Nice. Let's try that. All right, see how the sandwich is coming. Let's oh, toast it up nice. Flip it to that side. Forgot the cheese today, but we'll be okay. I think I can afford to not have a little bit of cheese. Toast that up. The dogs are, can't wait for some egg sandwich. Oh, what are you rolling? Always rolling in something when we go out to the bush. That's why she always needs a bath every time I take her back. Oh, wow. Cha-cha, come. Let's see what he's getting into. Come here. Our water is good and hot, ready to come off. Ooh. Extra glove for that. A little toasty. Sandwiches all done as well. And you think I might have forgot it, but I didn't forget my bail. Leave that in there to steep a little longer. Sandwich. Now, a while back, I started putting, well, actually I had a friend that made me an egg sandwich and they put mayonnaise on it. And it's one of my, it's one of my favorite things now to do is to put mayonnaise on my egg sandwich. If you haven't tried it, 
it's a must it's a must try you will get some don't worry go you will get some hey, hey, hey. there you go then. go all right our egg sandwich our coffee let's sit and relax in the hammock Cheers, everyone. Bad. Not bad, that. David's tea coffee. All right. After breakfast, take a little hike around, see what type of resources we have here, if there's enough dead trees to be able to make a shelter. So we'll check the area out. This is not fun. See, this is what happens when. Ugh, she rolled in something. This is what happens when you take a Shih Tzu that thinks she is a black lab to the bush. You're all dirty. Now I have to bath you. Yuck. And it's stinky. Just let these coals die down. Why we go for a little walk around, check out the area. So as you can see, there's lots of trees in this area. It's really nice and wooded, a wooded area. There's good dead trees. So I think they'll be good for resources. Got rocks to be able to Build like a little rock wall, a rock fire pit. All right, let's go. Let's go explore this way a little bit. Come on, Char. Come on. I like this area here. It's all nice and open. So I think there's a little pond down just this way. So let's go check it out. Come on, Char. I keep Charlie's leash on because he's easier to catch because he likes to run away just like he's doing right now. Which I'll just stop him with the leash. Here. Come on, you little devil. Back this way. Come on. Let's go, guys. We're going to go check this way out. Come on. Yeah, he's a little runner, that Charlie. I know I was here one time in the winter and I didn't explore very much, but let's just see what we got. Huh. It's almost like a little bit of a quarry type 
area. Let's go check it out. Which way are you going, Belle? Is there an easier way that way? Let's go check. Is there an easier way down this way? Maybe over here. Let's see. Oh, it might be easier that way for the dogs. I think I'll carry Charlie. He's not as he's not as uh, coordinated as Bella. Pretty neat down here. It's got a little, a little stream of water that runs through. Yeah, it's quite nice out here. That nice blue sky today. Yeah, I think I like it here. All right, Belle, what do you think? You ready? What do you think, Char? All right, come on. Let's go. Ready? Okay. Bella goes up that hill like it's nothing. Let's see if Charlie can kind of make it up. You ready, Char? No? Want me to carry you, baby boy? Okay. Dogs beat me back and cleaned the uh, cleaned up the cast iron frying pan from all the egg. You little devils. So yeah, the coals are almost out on this. I'm just going to empty it and let it cool cool down. spot just in the dirt here to empty it. The ashes just in one spot and then I will pour some water over them. Move this all out of the way. Sure they're good and out. All right, everyone. I think this is going to be the spot where we're going to start uh, one of our shelters this fall and winter. Next time we're out, we'll start beginning to clear the area and get a spot. Oh, Charlie's underneath the camera. One minute. Get over here. So next episode, um, come along with me and we'll start clearing out the area and uh, start figuring out how we'll build the shelter this time. Till next time. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>